EDC is a buzzword that you won't find in the dictionaries, describing the bare necessities you consistently take with you daily, combining practicality and style. For an EDC pen, you just want it to function, aka write, regardless if it's cold, hot, wet, upside down, in space or your local post office. And regular pens struggle with all this due to physics, but this can be remedied by applying some pressure to the ink. And that's exactly what all these pens have in common, but achieve through various methods. Pilot downforce and tone bow air press inject air into the refill, while a uni power tank and Fisher have pressurized cartridges. But only Fisher lets you choose a pen buddy that will reflect your personal taste. Do you want a small one or a pointy one? Just imagine if John Vick had one of these. Be it traditional luxury or ultra modern and high tech. Thanks to the included adapter, it fits into thousands of pens, being one of the standard ballpoint refill sizes used by a large number of manufacturers. Going with fudders, you're limited to the one they came with, making it impossible to flaunt your disposable income or to find the one that's best for you. Unfortunately, Fisher is not without its faults, as I covered in my big review. And yes, I'll be reviewing all the other pressurized pens too. And by reviewing, I mean actually testing them, not just parroting manufacturer claims or other cash grabs like uh, AI-generated articles. The biggest issue is that while Fisher can write underwater, it doesn't mean it will stay on the paper. After the fact, some of the colored inks outright disappear, while black and blue leave a mess. And that's when right in the rain comes in. They use the very same refill format. In fact, they are actually manufactured by Fisher, but use their own ink formula. And as the name suggests, they specialize in old weather writing. So let's cut to the chase. I've spent hundreds of hours, mostly since I only have one camera and I want to capture my testing on tape, watching paper dry. So exciting. I went from mere drops of water to writing underwater, with everything in between, just to prove that Write in the Rain is the superior space pen. And remember, this is with the best case scenario, as the colored inks, as I mentioned previously, fare even worse. Copy paper, note paper, premium notebooks, various waterproof papers, and it's not only that it looks messy, but it can ruin your notes. An obvious question that might arise. Is Fisher's ink formula that bad? Or right in the rain, it's just so good. I tested the other pressurized pens too. Skipping child play like droplets and going hard. Three hours underwater. And then air drying. Then I repeated it with all kinds of paper. Therefore, we can conclude that the problem is indeed in Fisher's ink formula. Most of the previous examples had water exposure shortly after writing, so my next step was giving it time to dry and absorb. <sighs> yeah, it got a tad better with hours past, but even when left for a whole day in a hot place, it still leaked ink. Having rules and conditions to use your right anywhere pen reminds me of Apple's iPhone 4. You're just holding it wrong. Fiasco. So if you're already using Fisher refills, it seems like a no-brainer to switch to right in the rain. And uh, donate, like, comment, share all that stuff to support real independent views. See ya.